Life History of Silk Moth We know that silk fibers are animal fibers. Silk worms are reared for obtaining silk. Rearing of silk worms to obtain silk is termed as sericulture. In India, sericulture is a very old occupation where plenty of silk is produced on a commercial scale. Now let us study in detail the history of a silk moth. The silk moth is classified into male and female. The adult female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs, out of which tiny larvae hatch. These larvae are also known as caterpillars or silkworms. The caterpillar feeds on mulberry leaves and starts growing in size. Before the caterpillar enters the next stage of its life history, that is the pupa stage, it weaves a net to hold itself. While doing so, it swings its head from side to side in a series of movements resembling the number 8. During these movements, the caterpillar secretes a protein fiber which hardens on exposure to air and becomes silk fiber. These silk fibers form the protective covering known as cocoon. The further development of the caterpillar into a pupa and then into a moth takes place inside the cocoon. We usually find different silk materials in the market which vary in textures. Do you know why? In nature, there are a variety of silk moths which yield silk of different textures. Hence we find different types of silk materials in the market. Some common variety of silk available in the market are Tussa silk, Moga silk, Mulberry silk, etc., which are obtained from cocoons spun by different types of moth. Mulberry silk moth is the most common silk moth. The silk fiber from the cocoon of this moth is soft, lustrous, and elastic, which is dyed into beautiful colors. We also find different types of artificial silk materials in the market, which are cheaper than pure silk. Now let us perform a small activity to find the difference between pure and artificial silk. For this, take an artificial and a pure silk thread. Individually burn these threads carefully. You will notice that, while burning, there is a difference in the smell of both these threads. Similarly, when you burn a woolen fiber, you will find that it smells like the pure silk thread. This is because both these fibers are obtained from animals.